Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we are playing some Rule of Rose. Hello there, Amanda. <laughs> you okay? <gasps> hey! Amanda! Don't be a jerk face. You okay there? No? 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 no, no not gonna talk to me? Not gonna... Okay. Something's covered up. Apparently I'm still not allowed to look at it. Can I take this? There's a small diary with a floral pattern on its cover inside the glass case. And the case is locked. Okay. It's time to get out of here. So I'm not... I know where we're supposed to go. It should only be just a moment. But as usual, this game doesn't like to be completely obvious. Hi, Amanda. You don't expect me of stealing it, do you? Oh, that's not Amanda's voice. I know who really took Joshua the bear. It's, um, Wendy. She's always sick in bed. It's got to be her. Okay. Let's go see Wendy, then. I'll finally be able to find her. You can find Wendy in the earlier chapters, if I remember correctly. But she's not always there. As evidenced by the one time I actually tried to go find her. But let's go talk to Wendy. She'll know where Joshua is. By the way, Amanda wasn't being suspicious there at all. Just, oh, you don't think I took it? It was, uh this other girl who's always sick in bed and barely ever moves. To the sick room. Well, I thought they have an entire room dedicated to sickness. And another room that's supposed to be the doctor's area. Wendy! Oh no! Wendy's on the floor! Wendy's down! Down, Wendy, down! You okay there, honey buns? The lonely princess pleaded tearfully. Oh, Diana and the others came just a minute ago, and they accused me, saying I'm the one who took Joshua the bear. How could they think that? Well, seeing as I did give you Joshua. Thank you. Did we help her take her jacket off or something? After promising to take care of him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Honey bonds. Don't worry about me. But be careful not to upset the other girls. Okay, Wendy. Bye bye, Wendy. Bye bye, Wendy. Nobody messes with my girlfriend! So, one thing that I found kind of interesting is the fact that my character is a teenager, yet obviously has something to do with all of these children. And probably this. This game is implied to possibly be a flashback or something, like she's coming to terms with everything that happened when she was a kid. But then again, this entire game is just trying to infer what's going on. And it's just weird. And I love it. I love this game. It's probably one of my favorites. Not my favorite, of course. That title goes to Lunar and Final Fantasy IX, and Mass Effect, and Dragon Age, and a couple others. But Rule of Rose is definitely high up there. Especially because the entire thing is just made of- what the hell is going on? Hi! Suddenly there is cloth. Oh, Amanda! We need to have a discussion. I think. Possibly. So you accused her. Hi, Diana! The strong-willed princess tipped her nose up and spoke with an arrogant expression. Jennifer, do you know where Amanda went off to? Oh, well... I doubt you'll be much help, but run along and join the search for Joshua the Bear. Hurry up and go. Wow, you're a jerk. I want it. And it's still locked. Great. Wait a minute, do I need to go find Amanda? Because now Amanda's missing. Except I know where Amanda is. And it's not creepy at all, so we're just gonna head that way. See? Everything's all roped up. 
Like it's starting to fall apart, which is bad. Hi guys, remember up here at the top of the ele elevator? 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 I think I have to go this way. I think. Unless I am wrong. Stay. Come. In which case, I am way ahead of myself because I know I eventually end up here. Oh well, be right back. Hey guys, sorry about that. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I went to where I was supposed to go at the end of this chapter. Have you ever played a game so many times that you've got it on the brain so well that when you actually start playing it, you end up going to where you're supposed to go instead of getting the thing that you need for the game to trigger telling you you're supposed to go there? Yeah, that just happened to me. Kind of a lot. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, we've got the bear's tail. Go. And for some reason it was hidden in Amanda's room. For some reason. For somehow. And now we're going to use it to find a question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I think there's three question marks in that. Something like that. I am going to laugh so hard if it takes me exactly to where I was going. It's like, oh, hey, you can't go here yet because, um, the game doesn't think that you know you're supposed to be here yet, so you can't be here yet because it says so, because I'm a game. And you may be the protagonist, but I kind of owe you, so. But then again, that is how games go. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, okay, then. Hi, Amanda. You are, um, dragging something that's suspiciously knee-shaped. And if you guys remembered, there was one thing that was suspiciously knee-shaped at the beginning of this game, tied to a pole. Yeah. Hi, Amanda. She is going exactly to where I was going, isn't she? Get back here! Get back here! I didn't do it. Great, now I have to turn the generator back on. Caution, backup, backup power will be activated in the event of a power failure. Restore power. After a failure, restart generator 1 in sector 11. The fuck is it? Okay, actual location. It's on the other side of the... Okay, I remember where it is now. But the problem is, it's literally on the other side of this place. We are going to have to trek all the way to the other side of this entire area to restore the power because somebody with a little statue thing couldn't be asked to be nice enough to not break the whole system by using the elevator. Or the entire airship is in fact falling apart, which then means that it will crash, explode, and everybody dies. We don't got time for that, Brown. Get your butt over here. I got a shovel. Too bad you can't dual wield in this game. How funny would that be? You just dual wield a shovel in one hand and an, a lead pipe in the other hand. Iron pipe. Because then you could just go, oh, come at me, bro. I'm a stab you with the pipe, and then I'm going to slice whatever I stabbed with the spade. You can stab people with pipes, right? Of course, you'll probably need a lot of force to do that. Ooh. I got a half biscuit. Does that mean the other half got eaten? Half biscuit. Well, I'm not gonna go like that just yet. Because we got to go turn back on the generator. On the other side of the fish blimp. It's a fish blimp. Fishy, 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 fishy. I know this might be one of the weirdest games that I've ever let's played, but still one of my favorites. Oh, balls. Great! Great. I smell bacon! Hi, bacon! Of course!
course, it's Amanda's chapter. You gotta have a pig creature with the face. Get away from me. Nope! Balls. Okay, try the other door. I don't wanna fight it. I don't wanna fight it, even though I probably have to. Yup! We gotta fight it, guys. Time to fight the pigu! Hi. Camera! What the deuce? I'm gonna kill you with my spade! What the? No! 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 Okay, get up. What? No! Yes! They just run and they knock you over. That is all the pig does. Get up! I gotta make some bacon! Even though I don't eat bacon. That's not even a joke. I don't eat bacon. I haven't had bacon since I was 16. Or 15 and a half. Something like that. But somebody else can make bacon out of it. I mean, just because I don't eat the bacon doesn't mean everybody else can't eat the bacon. If I don't eat the bacon, that's just more bacon for everybody else. You. You sitting there watching this video right now. You. You can have my share of the world's bacon. Pig! Did I just turn a corner without paying attention? I did. Go! Run away! Let's see here. It should be... Not there. It's in here? I think? Maybe? Oh, hi there! You just ran away with the pipe I need. Generator wanna stop? The power lever has been snatched off! Great. Where's the door? He went through a door. Gotta go chase the kid down and beat the hell out of him. Okay. Oh, so you didn't even try to stop the kid. Jennifer gets protagonist MVP award of 2015 for letting a little child scare her and run away. Where am I going? This way. I don't know where this guy went. <laughs> That's the problem. He just runs past you and just nope. Oh wait a minute. There was probably something in the room he was in, because it didn't lock he didn't lock the door. He just ran out of the room, so maybe he dropped something. And we can use that to find his butt oh balls. No, get off me! No! Oh, this is gross! What do we no! More grossness! Make it stop! God damn it, Huey, help me! <laughs> Wait, you're not Huey, you're brown. God, I'm gonna die! Get off, get off, off, off. Jeebus! That does not, in my it can't be just me who thinks that looks entirely wrong, right? It can't be just me. That looks so gross, so grody. Okay, we're fine. Oh, get your butt over here, dog. I done goofed, so now we have to fix it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Tail, no. Half biscuit. Red's the other half biscuit. Okay, is there... A save point? I should probably save. Oh, wait a minute. This is the same guy. This is the same kid that I found the half biscuits at. So maybe the half biscuit will take me to him? If I remember correctly? Aha! I knew I was onto something. 
been a while since I played this late into the game, now that I'm thinking about it. I've played this game more times than I care to admit, but... Apparently not enough. Okay, where are we going? Oh, I was going that way. I was going the right direction. Okay. I thought I had to do something in this area. Wait, if they're half biscuits, does that mean he ate the upper half of the biscuit? I think I already brought that up. But that's kind of gross. It's kind of grody. Pigs! Too many pigs! Run away from the pigs! Balls. Ow! Jerk face. Okay, what's the other- Ow! What's the other way I can get in there? What is the other... Can I use this? No. Get off me! Off me! Off! 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 Ow! Jerk. Okay, so what's the other way I can get around there? Okay, I know where I'm going. Because apparently that way is all- Oh no, you're not allowed to go through there because it's locked for no reason. But that way you just go through the smoking room and smoke some cigars and wait for the kid to come out. <laughs> there was that door that Martha was in front of earlier in the game. I think it's open now. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Second to passenger hallway. This game is trying to be intense. It's not doing very well. Come on, Brown. Oh, God damn it! No, stay away from the piggers. Stay away from the piggers. They will murder my face. Okay, not doing so hot in the health department. Could be better. Okay, so all the way at the end? I can't remember. I'm going to assume it is. It is not. I was wrong. Okay, it's this door. Good. Come here, kid! I'm gonna murder your face! Oh, I almost got hit by a pigu there. Do not want to get hit by a pigu. Do you go to the pantry to get more biscuits? You fat ass kid! Seriously? Seriously! You're being serious now! Okay. I forgot about this. We have to go to the other side of the ropes. Somehow. Some way. But first, we have to get past this pigu, who probably wants some biscuits himself. Itself. Get off of me! Thank you, puppy! Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm going to eat... Use! Okay, fine! Wait for me! This way. Pigu! And the other side of it should be here. Hopefully we either find the kid or we find the pipe. Because we need the smoke. In the smoking room. With the pipe. Or the lever. It's not a pipe. I have the pipe! Why aren't I smoking in the smoking room if I have the pipe? Now we just have to get all the way back to the generator and fix all of that stuff. But I think I'm gonna do that in the next video. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I am playing some Rule of Rose. I'll see you all in the next video.